hi if you're listening to this right now you're welcome to my 10th episode yeah feels good right (laughs) okay so i'm gonna be talking about you are a judgmental person if first what does it mean to be judgmental there are a lot of definitions about judgmental but i am most interested in this particular definition it's meant having or displaying an overly critical point of view before we delve into the podcast my name is joy Ogbedi. i like to call myself a global influence i'm public speaker graphic designer and a voiceover artist so you're welcome to the influence podcast here we talk about a lot of things including purpose christianity the gospel self-improvement these are the things that i'm actually passionate about so you'll be hearing topics centered on these things that i have outlined so when you always want things to go your way every time like when you always want that It could be a sign that you are a judgmental person. You should understand that there are many ways to do things. I saw on someone's status recently, the person posted that it's not just 5 plus 5 that gives you 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. Even 9 plus 1 is 10. So there are better ways to go about something. Just because it's not being done in your way doesn't mean that it's wrong. Then if you feel so perfect and you think you can't make mistakes and then you go ahead to judge the mistake of others harshly, you could be a highly judgmental person. Understand that humans are not perfect. We are only trying our best at at every at every level we are all humans no matter the position the status the person has or anything wealth influence affluence no matter what at the very least we are all humans and there should be a kind of expectation that you could have you can hold people to standards but you should understand that people can't always meet such standards there will be time that people would sleep and even you and if you understand that people can't sleep you know like slip people could sleep you would know that you two are not infallible and if you are highly judgmental and highly critical of others when you make mistakes you won't be able to forgive yourself because you've held people to a very unrealistic standard that they couldn't meet and you two have fallen short so it takes a lot for you to forgive yourself even when grace has been offered you by god and even the people who you've wronged they might have forgiven you but you find it difficult to forgive yourself it's not anything it's the words that you've spoken they've gone ahead of you and they've they've raised themselves as standards that when you falter it's like a reminder of the fact that you have been holding people to unrealistic standards and now you can't meet meet them so forgive yourself and forgive others and every correction and analysis should be done from the place of grace and mercy because you don't want to you don't want to come hard every correction should be done from the standpoint of mercy you should be merciful to yourself be merciful to others offer yourself grace and holding yourself to high standards sometimes doesn't mean that you are being judgmental it is good to hold yourself to high standards as an as a person you are meant to be excellent you might not be perfect excellence is progressive it is the best you can give at that particular time with what you know that's why it is good to go for knowledge and try to improve on yourself and everything yes it's something that we all should try to do and improve ourselves but if you set a standard for yourself that there are some things that you would not do and there are some compromises that you can never make it doesn't make you a judgmental person For example, as a believer, I can't marry an unbeliever. Like, a person who does not believe in Jesus, 
is off the radar for me like there's nothing wrong with them but i will not see you it just it just marks the person out is it me being judgmental no i have already set a standard and it's the same thing somebody from an other another faith group might say i don't want a christian for a wife it doesn't mean that they are judgmental it's the standard that they have set for themselves okay so how do you not be judgmental how how do you how do you learn how not to be a judgmental person first realize that no one is incapable of making mistakes including you once you settle that in your mind you're good to go then know that it is not in your place to play god it is true that people should be held accountable but take things easy you don't start you don't start hating people on behalf of god for example i was writing i was just ranting on my status lately about um how this homosexuality and lesbianism is being subtly pushed to us um the media always wanting to put it inside subtly and even cartoons now they must have at least one gay character inside it is actually irritating because that's not actually how god made it he made male and female if god wanted same sex marriage he would have made all of us the same sex you know so my point here is i wouldn't now start talking against the persons practicing it it is not my business with them i condemn the act not the people you attack issues not people you don't you don't bring out a person and say this person is this you should condemn the acts that this person is being involved in or maybe a, a display of an attitude that was wrong you know you you condemn the acts not the person just because the person did something disappointing doesn't make them a disappointment do you understand so yeah don't play god god hates sin but loves sinners and is looking for ways to draw them back to himself so it's not in your place for you to criticize and condemn condemn them you can condemn the act but not the people and even in condemning of the act there's a way that you should still do it you have to be careful because at the end of the day you are not infallible then you should look for things to praise more than you do to criticize if you look it is what you look for that you will find if you are always highly critical you're looking for what is wrong you would always find so many things that is going wrong but if you try to fix your eyes on the things that are working what is right you will find them of course there is a place for correction and improvement but let your eyes look for the good and you see it if you look for the good in people you see it if you actually want to find things to criticize in people you will find it then beware of the media many of the so-called news might be malicious and everything is trying to get a trigger and reaction everything is just so triggering these days and people are getting easily offended as the day goes by these days you don't even know what can offend a person anymore you don't even know what can trigger a person anymore and this um, blogs and the rest sometimes they just take things out of context you know i understand the place of copywriting and you need a good header to draw people in as, as an intelligent person if you look at the header you have to find out the context at which something was said because most of these things they are trying to get a reaction of you somebody was saying something about her spending millions on skincare but the contest was it was a skin condition that made her spend that money but many people didn't read the blog post or the headline didn't finish reading the post they just concluded that she was lying and the rest maybe she was lying or maybe she was not but i don't know i just feel like you should not just be quick to jump on the bad one gun of people that are criticizing persons especially when it comes to um, celebrity gist and the rest you know persons want to have their takes on everything on every headline people want to leave their comments sometimes when you see a post just breathe and know that there's not everything that you need you need to comment on so don't easily get triggered don't be easily offended you can you can live life you can enjoy life and mind your business 
so she try not to be a judgmental person because one day you will need that mercy that you're supposed to offer to other people and if you understand that everybody is a human being and capable of making mistakes you will just chill you will expect if you are a leader and you have persons under you that you are training give them that allowance create the allowance for mistakes hold them to high standards yes ensure that you are not just um you're not just showing the way you are also leading the way going the way that you're telling them to go and helping them get to that point growth is progressive growth is progressive it doesn't happen in a day so give people that allowance i know that sometimes when we get hold of a knowledge or we come to know something it will look as though other people that don't know it (laughs) don't have sense but you forgot that once upon a time you were like that too you were ignorant and in the dark so offer people that same grace it took you so long to find out something so the fact that other people do not know it doesn't mean that you are better than them or anything you just know you know now but they don't know what separates you from them is knowledge but what puts all of you on the same pedestal is the fact that you are a human being and you are still under god's grace even that person that doesn't believe in god is still under god's grace so if you have heard the message of the gospel for example now we know that as believers if we are believing in the lord jesus christ we can't go to hell if we continue believing in jesus we believe and we continue believing we can't go to hell we can't miss heaven equal the rapture is not even the rapture is not even in the scriptures it was not described as rapture of second coming of jesus christ is not a scary message for us we know okay but if we see somebody who doesn't know this thing do you become resentful or do you look at at them as dollars or they don't know anything you forgot that you two you were once in the dark so relax chill and enjoy the company of believers if you're not comfortable in the church and what they are teaching you gently leave instead of being rebellious to what is being taught and everything so shall relax calm down be good so thank you very much for listening i'm your host joy obedi join the conversation on my instagram page at the underscore influence podcast and my personal account at the joy obedi have a great week ahead and bye bye